Hello and welcome to this video demonstration for PDF to Data. Today's topic is PDF to Data template execution via our REST interface. The assets needed for this particular demonstration will include our reference PDF document, in this case it's an invoice, and through the use of the PDF to Data editor we've created the following template and these particular fields are of interest for extraction. It's also very important to introduce the physical file names of these assets, which you can see here. We'll utilize these file names when we actually execute our REST calls. Okay, now let's briefly walk through an overview of our PDF to data REST implementation. So, the REST API parsing engine is provided as a Docker container which would require the use and installation of Docker. The installation instructions can be found at this following URL. Okay, now let's briefly walk through utilizing the PDF to data REST API. Step one would be to upload the license. Now this must be done once per service per license. The next is to register your template, and this is also done once per template per service. Then we'll create a parsing job that simply takes a PDF, applies the template, and creates the results. So there's the creating of the parsing job, the job executes, and produces output, and then the last step will be to retrieve the results of the job. Let's get to it. So as you can see here, I've already installed Docker on my particular machine. I've followed the installation instructions for PDF to Data's REST service, and that's what you see here. If you notice the top line, our REST service is running on port 81 on my local machine. We'll refer to this in the next few steps. Okay, now that the PDF to Data REST service is up and running on my local host port 81, you can see I requested the Swagger interface so that we can continue this demonstration. Okay, the first step is to authorize for Swagger and the REST service. As you can see, this icon, we need to authorize. I'm just going to key my password in here. And you notice the return is that we're now authorized. Okay, so now we're able to proceed with the steps we talked about earlier. As was mentioned earlier, the first step is to upload the license key file. And that can be done right here with this license controller. We simply just choose the license key file from my local machine. It's right here and we hit execute. The REST service is taking our request and now has responded with the following. You can see the responses here, the curl request to our local host URL, and it returned a server response of 200, as well as a response body. And you can see this is telling us that the license key expires uh, next century and it's an unlimited license. Now moving on to the next step, we need to register our template. And if we scroll up, you will see the template management controller. And one of these options is to in fact register a new template. We can try this out as well. And like before with the license key file, it's asking us to choose our template, which you can see is right here. And this is the name we referred to earlier. And we'll execute this. And like before, you'll see the responses. And in this case here, part of the response body is the template ID. And what we're going to do here is simply copy this to the clipboard so we can paste it in for the next step.
Okay, now on to the final step, which is actually in two parts. What we need to do here is create a new job. It'll take our registered template and execute it against the PDF file. And then at the end of that, we will retrieve the results from that job. So let's get to this. So we'll execute this. The first thing we tell this step for creating our job is to let it know what PDF we want to execute our template against. And notice here, I'm choosing this from my local machine, and this is the exact name that we referred to earlier. And then part of this, if you recall, we copied a template ID to the clipboard, and I'm going to provide that here. I'm just going to paste that in, and we're going to execute this. And you can see that the response body is it created and executed our job. It gave it a job ID. And to get the results of this, I am going to take this ID and again, copy this to the clipboard for our next step, which would be to retrieve the job results. And that would be get the jobs results and it's asking me for the job ID here, which I'm gonna paste what we just did in here. I'll leave it to try it out. There's our job ID, click execute. And here's our response. Notice the response body is in fact the output, the JSON output from template execution against that PDF. Invoice number, the line item table, all the metadata as well that goes with it. The line items from the table. You can certainly download this to your local machine. So that concludes this video demonstration of executing REST calls utilizing Swagger for PDF to data.